Hi guys, Farhan Tipu here and welcome back to the Indulge Gadget Show. Today we've got a 1499 neckband from Bolt Audio called the Curve ANC. Whenever I've used a neckband, there's a different feeling of comfort that I get. As in, there's no worry for me when I remove the earbuds while I'm using it because it's still stuck to the yeah. neckband. And I won't worry about them slipping out of my ear as well while I'm walking. Whereas with the TWS, we'd have to be a little more careful. But that's just my outlook on the comfort of using these gadgets. So enough of my outlook and let's get straight into looking at the Curve ANC from Bolt Audio and see if this 1499 neckband is worth only its price or worth more. Now starting off with what we get in the box, we get to see one neckband, one USB-A to Type-C charging cable, two extra pairs of ear tips and also extra fins in case you want that extra support as well and one user guide for the neckband. Now, coming to the design, we can see that the company has gone with a silicon build for the neckband and a plastic build entirely otherwise. The heads as well as the buds are made of plastic. So you will find three buttons here, a power button, the volume button and a dedicated ANC button around the left head while the right head has nothing except the branding of the company. You will also find the microphone on the left head itself. The neckband is quite flexible and comfortable while using. I didn't feel any discomfort nor did I see any rash on my neck when using it for my workout routines. The earbuds, like I said, are also made of plastic even though they give out a metal finish type look. So don't be fooled. You can also see that we've been given strong magnets here to hold the earbuds together when we aren't using them while wearing the neckband. Now, coming to the controls, the play pause button or the next back actions have been integrated into the three available buttons itself. If you single press the power button, you can play or pause any track. If you double press the power button, it will redial the last number that you've called. And three presses will get the voice assistant support feature activated, while four presses will activate the gaming mode. Now, if you long press the volume button, the plus button will change it to the next track, while the minus button will go back to the previous track. You can get a better idea of these actions through the user manual provided. Now, to start off with the features, the earbuds house a 12mm dynamic driver. We also get to see a SBC ACC codec support. Here, the music experience was good enough for me. The mids and lows were really good, but the highs were lacking for me. The vocals were just satisfactory. I mean, the bass and the acoustics were really great and everything just dropped after the lyrics started off in the track. They were just not as good as the mids and the lows. The treble was just not as rich as the bass was. The 25 decibel ANC feature offered here did okay in my view, but I would say around 70-80% good at cancelling. But if you put the music at max volume, it does block out everything else. But I can't say the same when the volume is at 60%. The transparency mode was also just nothing different for me. I mean, in fact, if the voice wasn't there telling me that I had put it in transparency mode, I wouldn't have known that it changed as well. We also get dual pairing here on this neckband. So you can connect it to your cell phone as well as your laptop or any other second device that you'd want to connect it to. Speaking of connectivity, we have been given the Bluetooth 5.3 version. And for protection against liquids, we can see our IPX5 water resistance certification. So we can consider it as sweat proof, rain proof or splash proof but not completely waterproof. For gamers, we've got the gaming mode that offers 60 ms of latency. I tried it for the Call of Duty and it was okay. I felt there was a slight, very slight lag but that didn't trouble me much while gaming. But for those who want no lag, go for wired headphones people. Coming back to the neckband, we get to see a Zen environmental noise cancellation mic that it supposedly cancels out car noises, signal noise, plane noise and messages as well. Also, before I come to my final part of the review, you should know that the Bolt Audio claims 40 hours of playtime for this neckband and 30 hours with the ANC on. The Curve ANC also supports fast charging where 10 minutes of charge will give you 10 hours of playtime. Now, to conclude the review, the pros for the neckband are its three buttons to control all actions on the band, the battery life and the comfortability of the neckband and the sound quality it gives out, leaving the vocals out. The cons for me would obviously be the vocals output, the plastic heads and a personal opinion is that the controls are on the heads. Don't get confused, I like the three buttons to control all the actions, but I would have also loved if the controls weren't on the heads itself. I would have liked it if they had given a separate controller itself, but that's just my personal preference. So that's it for the review guys, and if I haven't answered any of your questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. See you in the next one.